Hello everyone, Alex the RC Freak here, coming at you with the upgrade video of my Arma, my Arma Creighton version 3. So, anyway, I'm going to kind of show you, it's brand new, I'm going to show you kind of what upgrades I'm going to be doing right out of the box. As you know, any RC car that's new to me, used new to me, or brand new to me, um, I completely take it apart, inspect everything, um, and go from there. So, anyway, basically, I'm going to show you a couple things here. So, first off is shock fluid. I'm going to be running 42.5 weight shock fluid. The stock shock fluid weight is 30 weight. So I'm going to be doing that. Next is for the center differential, there's a couple choices I'm going to be doing. So either it's 500 weight shock oil, or not shock oil, please excuse me on that, differential fluid, 500,000 weight differential fluid. So it's fairly thick. Um, I don't know if it's going to be thick enough for me. Personally, I hate center diffs. If you know me, you've been following my channel, I hate them. Traxxas is the only company in my opinion, that has ever did a center diff right. They can't fill the diff correctly, but they're kind of on the right track with the, how thick of fluid they put in it. They put 20 million diff fluid. So I got 500K right there. This is 20 million. Tracks this part number 5040. 20 million diff fluid. Let me just bring that up close so you can see it. That's 20 million diff fluid right there so anyway this will lock the diff it'll just give the diff just a little bit of action to work but it's basically locked so and then next is for the front and rear differentials i'm going to be running fifty thousand differential fluid so that's just what i'm going to do that's what i like to run it's good weight uh differential fluid so uh let's start off with the uh a-arms so these are the rear RPM left and right side A arms for the Arma Creighton. Outcast, um, you know, the Durango DEX8T. Um, the part number is 81402. So you'll need one package of these. We'll do the rear. They look pretty beefy. RPM knows how to make our control arms like A arms, hub carriers. For anything 8 scale or smaller. Um, the Traxxas X-Max RPM products, like control arms wise, like A-arm wise, are garbage. I've had bad luck, so I'm just speaking from my personal experience. But anyway, so you got that. And then uh, these are the, you know, right or left side, uh, lower and upper A-arms. They are part number 81482. You'll need two packages of those. I got two packages of these. So, uh, sorry about my arm being in the way, but that's two packages. Stick those aside there. And then also, last but not least, uh, I'm going to be getting a... Bam! New receiver put in it. So, uh, this does have an antenna wire. The factory radio system does not have an antenna wire. But don't you worry. The factory receiver box, which I actually do really appreciate Arma did, they incorporated in an antenna mount to the side of the box. So if you were to change to a better radio, which I'm going to do with my Spectrum DX6R, I got a two-channel receiver here, and uh, I'm going to stick that in there and uh, use that in my Arma crate and bind it to my Spectrum DX6R so that way... I just have, you know, one radio does everything. And then also, last but not least, bam. This is a Savox 1230 SG steering servo. 500 ounces of torque at 6 volts, BEC voltage. I love these servos. They are 25-2 spline, the factory aluminum steering servo horn in the Arma Creighton. The Arma Outcast, or any Arma vehicle, as a matter of fact, is 25-2 spline. So this is perfect. You can use the aluminum servo horn. So this does come with servo horns in it. It's really nice. Um, yeah, but 
this is a way better uh, quality servo. It's water resistant, not waterproof. So I don't drive my vehicles in water. It's just a stupid idea in my opinion. But anyway, so yeah, it'll work perfect for my situation and what I'm currently trying to do. And uh, it's it, I've had great luck with servo. I run it in almost every one of my vehicles that take standard size servos. I love that servo. It's awesome. It's the best bang for your buck. Um, ounce of torque wise uh, and it's pretty fast also from my experience it's pretty fast it's not super slow so uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing on the center differential I'm, like I say I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna use 500k or lock it with a 20 million um, well it's not technically locked with 20 million but it's basically it can't move super as freely as it would with 500k so um, anyway that's just kind of like the, some of the stuff I'm gonna be doing uh, to the truck the truck actually looks like it's built very well right out of the box, believe it or not. Um, it's my first Arma ever, so like I say, I may not know all the ins and outs, but I think the center differential has like 30,000 weight diff fluid in it. Because if you notice the videos of like people, other people driving it, or even Arma's video, the front tires balloon like crazy. Like they're like this big, while the back ones are, you know, normal size. So. I don't like that. I don't like the front tires, all the power sitting up front and just ballooning like crazy. It's just not good for your drivetrain. So, um, that's going to be kind of what I'm doing, uh, what I plan on doing. If you guys would like, I can do a video teardown series on that also. Um, I'm just going to tear apart the front differential, rear differential, center differential. Um, I'm going to be taking the shocks apart and refilling the fluid. Um, making sure that nut that, that tightens down the piston is tight because a lot of times that nut is loose and the piston can move up and down a little bit while the shock shaft is going down so you could have a little bit of weird feeling in your shocks so just so make sure that's tight but yeah so hopefully i'm hoping i have a good experience with this vehicle so um to my knowledge everyone says the creighton is the best vehicle that arma has ever produced like i say i've never had an arma before i can't say but anyway I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate, sincerely appreciate anyone and everyone who's taken a few moments of their time to watch my videos. Um, thank you for all the nice comments. I do appreciate those. Um, as always, let's keep this RC hobby fun. Peace.